Hey, hey, math people. So you're in a room with 22 people, 23 in total. What are the odds that two people share the same birthday? Yeah, that, it, it was a coin. So I was going for the coin toss reference. It, it's a 50% chance, 50% chance that two people in the same room of 23 total share the same birthday. This is otherwise known as the birthday paradox or the birthday problem, but it's not really a paradox. It's not even really a, a problem. It's just math. Let's look at a quick rundown of this logic. All right, riddle me this. How many days are there in a year? Not you, leap year. Get out of here. We're not counting leap years. 365 days in a year. What are the odds that two people do not share the same birthday? So let's just say some dude's birthday is March 14th. Lovely day. How many other days are not March 14th in a calendar? Well, 364 of those. This is a probability that two people do not share the same birthday. Okay, but what if you had three people? Taking a look at our three friends here, how many different combinations of three people do you see? Uh, well, we have Bill Nye and myself. We have myself and Neil deGrasse Tyson. We also have Neil deGrasse Tyson and Bill Nye. That's three groups. What we have to do is we have to take this and raise it to the power of three provided that you could have that many combinations of people. Now, what about a room of 23? To that, I defer to my calculator. So what we're trying to do is 23 in total, choosing two. Of the 23 people, if you choose two, just two of them, how many different combinations can you have? Because barfing emoji can match up with 22 other people, whereas um, nervous laughter emoji can match up with, well then, 20, one other people because you kind of included that combination with barfing emoji guy and so on and so forth. It's, it's going to be a big number. Now we just refer to the calculator. All right, Google, what is 23 choose 2? 23 choose 2 is 253. Okay, we just heard it. So 23 choose 2 uh, is simply 253. Okay, so we can actually take our fraction and raise it to that power. Two, five, three. Let's take a step back and think. What did this probability represent in the first place? Now this represented the number of people that do not have the same birthday. So this value is gonna get you the not. So how do I find the actual? This is otherwise known as a complement in probability. Well, let's think. If we have a 25% chance of winning the lottery, then what are the odds that you don't win the lottery? Well, let's see, if it was 25% chance, you want to figure out not winning the lottery, you take 100% and you subtract off the 25% to get 75% chance. This is otherwise known as taking the complement. What you can do is you can just take 100% minus the probability of the not to get the actual, or to get the not, do 100 minus the actual. You, you actually get me or not? Doesn't matter because you're a video and you can't, I can't hear you anyway. So uh, with this said, we're ultimately just taking whatever this probability is and we're subtracting it from 100%. Here, this is a decimal. What you're gonna get is a decimal from this. So let's, what is a decimal representation of 100%? Well, it's one. We're actually gonna just take one and subtract off this probability. What is one minus 364 over 365 to the power of 253? Anyway, uh, just trust that the calculation of this approximately comes out to 50.7%. Just over a coin flip. This is all I have for this math classic. I'm going to continue to math on. I hope you do the same. I'll see you in the next video.